gonna do when it's hell week? You gonna be able to handle hell week? Run, 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 run. I'm a head football coach here at Martin Luther King High School. Last year, we had a really successful season. We were able to win our first public league championship. We're going to be young this year. There's going to be a lot of kids that need to step up and grow in the leadership positions. And Hell Week is an opportunity for us to write the first chapter of our new story. Y'all ready? Down up. One. That's, that's not one. Down up. One. That's not one. Down up. One. I ain't satisfied yet. You want to be a boy, you want to be a cougar. We've got to find out what a cougar do. What the rest of y'all do? What a cougar do? What a cougar do? What a cougar do? It's been a long off season. We've been chopping wood since December. The off season is over. Full contact football, all week long. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You're a child in the off season, and then you grow up once you get the hell week. What are you looking forward to? Oh, it's just another week at practice for me. But it's going to be a little different than practice. It's going to be pushed harder than practice. It's called hell week. Practice isn't called hell practice. Yeah. I think I'm ready for it. I'm just worried about, like, the young people on our team. They never went through nothing like this before. I'm going into my 10th grade year. Last year, I didn't really get to play. Everybody nervous about Hell Week. Coach said we're going to get up like 5 in the morning, be practicing at 7. I feel like I don't even want to go no more. Lord Father God, I just pray that you watch over my son that's going up to Lincoln on this week, Lord Father God, that you let their chaperones be strong to give the boys what they need, Lord Father God. And I pray that you send all our sons home safe in Jesus' name, amen. All right, Mom. Be safe. All right, you too. Mm -hmm. I look at football as my way out of the neighborhood I live in. A lot of people don't make it out, you know, and I don't want to be just like a statistic. So, like, football is my life. Our kids don't grow up having everything. You know, a lot of them come from single parent homes or challenging situations. They don't even know anybody who's been to college or lives on a campus. This year, we have a unique opportunity to go to Lincoln University and have Hell Week on their campus. For one week, these kids don't have to worry about all the challenges at home. These guys could be football players for a week. There's a whole nother world out there. It's only like an hour and a half away. Hell Week is a rite of passage. It's a time where you can kind of get a glimpse into who's going to pull their teammates up, who's going to be a leader, who's going to crack. Hell Week is the birth of our football season and will determine how far we can go. part of every football program. The first week of pads, Oklahoma drills. Real football players get excited about Hell Week. I like to show them what the big fellas could do. I'm you should always go home. No, 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 you can't. Never mind. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Pick it up. We need all these reps. Let's go, let's go. Ready? Go. AJ has a lot of talent and brings a lot to the table. We don't have a ton of six foot two, 270 plus guys walking around our schools. 
and we're really relying on him to get in here. Keep it tight, elbows in. Ready to go. Either gotta get the energy or get out. Everybody's tired. Got a long day, man. The first day, the coaches definitely broke us down. They came at us hard. Sir. Yeah, what up? Some pork sausage. All right. Don't sit. Don't sit right there. You can't sit with us. You a running back, dog. Yo, somebody get this running back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, running back. Hey, you have rule awakening We we got your number. <laughs> we blitz and the calls havoc. Your job is to knock somebody's head off. We can be the best in the state defensively. If you guys ain't hustling, if you guys ain't fighting, we can be the worst defense in the state. You don't want to be on that team. Hey, Coach Will, can we make sure AJ running? Come on, let's go, let's go. Push it out. Let's go. Hell Week is a trial for every player involved. They probably have never been this tired before, I've never been this frustrated, I've never hated football so much in their life. <sighs> Guys are starting to break down a little bit, starting to get tired. AJ is kind of slowing down our progress. Down up, one. Down up, two. Down up, three. Down up, four. Down up, five. Down up, six. Down up, seven. Down up, eight. Down up, eight. Five. Oh. Yeah. How could you do it? Oh, oh, why are we going so slow? What are we waiting for? Close it up! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> AJ had a little bit of a rough day, struggled a little bit with some of the conditioning. He's too out of shape. he pass out before halftime. If he doesn't get in shape before week one, it's going to hurt us. Competition day today. We're going to see what you guys got, see what kind of heart you guys got. Turn the pressure up a little bit, see if y'all dudes is ready for some real game time action. We gonna get out there and run. Purple tent, purple tent. Eat, 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 eat. Coop, coop. How many times do I say go and blow a whistle? Everybody get down. Down up. Down up. Down up. Watch that screen. Hey, step one. Shania oh, oh. is a, a really talented football player, but sometimes he lets his temper get the best of him. He shuts down and becomes uncooperative. I've always like, had like, a short temper, just, just getting angry over little things. Doing what I know is not right. Hell week is going to be interesting because I know tempers will flare and we're going to push him, and that's what we're supposed to do. I'm interested to see how he reacts to the pressure. Get there now, Janai! Here, in the control setting, I intentionally want to push Janai to get a reaction out of him. Yo, get out on him, Janai! Come on, Janai! Get on the line now, Janai! Show! Jeez! Here you go! What the hell was the call? What was the call? He shouldn't have been there. He shouldn't have been there. What was the call? 
He came that close to old Janai. Janai had some trouble in his past. He had some issues with some other kids in the neighborhood, and he ended up uh, being attacked at the bus stop. I didn't even realize I was like stabbed at first. Somebody told me like, oh, you bleeding. I looked down and I felt the blood running down on my legs. That changed my life all in 10 minutes because in reality, I almost lost my life. So the fact that I'm still here is just like, I got to open my eyes up to the more important thing. We, we want to give him the tools and make sure that he reacts in a positive way that's beneficial for him and his teammates. Making the good decisions and getting to the place where you want, it, it takes some time for you to step back and really evaluate yourself and be honest with yourself. Like, what do I have to do to make sure that I'm in a position to take care of my responsibilities? At a college, you don't want to be out there giving a bad name for you, your family, or your team. I, I want to go to like a big school. Like, I can just see myself playing at one of them big stadiums. And I'm not even going to get a chance to be there if I don't change the way I act. It's all about getting mentally tough. When we put the pads on, we know it's going to be physically grueling. We know you're going to be hurt. But what we're looking for is that mental resolve. With Janai, I've seen him at his worst and I've seen him at his best. Here, I think he's doing the right thing. Does he revert back to the old Janai? That's my only concern. Nasir's our rising 10th grade quarterback. Our quarterback last year was a senior who won MVP of our league. So he has some really big shoes to fill. Uh, uh. Being a quarterback, they always say you got to be vocal and to be a leader. Call it out. I've always been kind of quiet. We are going to make some mistakes on offense. And when we do, you guys got to rally to get these guys on the ground. I saw Chennai really rally the last few days. I haven't seen enough of y'all to try to get them guys on the ground. Ultimately, it always comes back to you, Nasir. Where do you think you should go with the ball, Nasir? Let me ask you that. I can't even see how the defense look. Right huh? I can't even see how the defense look. What we ended up doing here, you just can't do. We got to press the pace. His confidence isn't where it, it needs to be yet. And he needs to feel that he's as dominant as we believe he can be. about my dad when I'm on the field just because like I heard that he was like one of the top players when he was younger I was about nine years old when he got locked up when he was when he was home he used to play football catching the street and all that and when he was going it was just you no know, sorry We missed so much time when I was young.
the experience of a lot of our kids is that not all of them have their father in their life. Turn this way. Not only do we use this time away to develop these guys as football players, but also to build a bond, to know that we are people that they can lean on and when they're going through the things that life throws at them. Nah. Ten, good job. I know we've been having a rough summer in terms of getting the, the offense where we wanted it to be. That's a lot to ask of a 10th grader, but I believe in you. What I need to see from you this week is really kind of growing into the more of a leadership role. I want you to really step up. you building your name, but they want to follow you. They believe in you, I'm telling you. I see it already, but I need to hear your voice. Make sure people are not too close to the pit and not too close to the end of the pit. You already know what time it is. This is Oklahoma time, baby. Oklahoma drill is, is one of those tackle football battle of wills. Can't do it a lot because it's so physical, but when we do it, it's special. There's no time to be scared, no time to be soft. Play to win. Y'all got that. Let's go. Y'all got that. Let's go. I want pads on pads. Understood. Let's go. competition, you know? You get a free shot on the skinny people. I mean, who wouldn't like that? AJ, he's getting in better shape so that he can contribute to the team. I'm going to push myself to the limit. I know I'm be tired, so you know, I just got to buckle down and grind. We have an excellent opportunity here at Hell Week with these guys really starting to stand out and prove their worth. At the end of the week, let's name a couple captains. If we're going to win this year, I need to be like a leader on the team and just push my teammates as hard as I can. Not here. After every scrimmage, he'll send me a text message to say, Coach, what can I do better? I am so impressed with him. I think sometimes he gets a raw deal because he doesn't yell, but I do see him communicate. I think Janai, he stepped up major. Janai, he coaches up players. He's elevating them. Being here is like opening my eyes to what college can really be, and that's something I'm sure I want to go. I'm trying keep going on. You crazy. <laughs> we all see future captain potential in you. Right? I just got to like speak up more and show the, show the coaches that I can be a captain. You're already a sophomore leading the offense. Coming from you, that just make me like feel like I can do it and I can be a captain. Great rodeo! Shot! Hot! Good job. Good job. Coming out the other end of Hell Week, I think, helped me like seeing the future of um, King under my leadership. I think we could go far. Nasir proved to his teammates that there won't be a drop off from leadership that he's here and he's the future. All right, guys, this is a really special night. It's uh, the last day of Hell Week. We couldn't leave this special night without doing something special. We want to acknowledge two guys that we think are ready to make that transition to captain. It ain't easy. It's a lot of pressure being the quarterback of Martin Luther King. Come on up here, Nasir. <laughs> I want you guys to give a, a big round of applause for your second captain of the season, Janai Harris. <laughs> Working together, being disciplined, holding yourself accountable. If we build a roster of 40 young men, the, the football part will take care of itself. Football's easy like that. Football's fair like that. 